Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zach, but you guys can call me Hazardous. Thank you guys so much for tuning back to my channel and welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video here on my channel today. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best class setup for the M1A1 Carbine in Call of Duty World War II multiplayer. This weapon is absolutely amazing, especially for it being only a single shot weapon. And you guys really seem to enjoy my M1 Garand best class setup that I uploaded a few days ago for you guys. So I figured I might as well bring you guys a best class setup for another single shot weapon and that weapon is the m1a1 carbine so thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel before we get into this best class setup for the m1a1 carbine if you guys could go down and drop a comment drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new to my channel i would greatly appreciate it and also as an extra benefit i will enter you guys into my monthly channel sweepstakes here on the channel so if you guys want to win a 25 dollars amazon gift card to spend on whatever you'd like all you need to do is subscribe to my channel if you're new drop a like on this video and go down in the comments and tell me you followed all three steps i would greatly appreciate that and good luck to you all so let's jump into this best class setup to start off with like i do with all my best class setups we'll start off with a division and what division to use of course i use the infantry just because you get that bayonet on the rifle and since we're using a rifle you might as well do it you get extra ammo and for especially for a single shot weapon where you could rip through the ammo really fast just tap firing trying to mow down enemies if you're not accurate with it you can blow through ammo really fast so it's good to get extra ammo in your magazines and in reserve when you're using the infantry division and then also you get stalker which is basically you could strafe faster and have more mobility when you're aiming down sights with your weapon and when you're using a single shot weapon you're already at somewhat of a disadvantage against weapons like the bar and the STG and even some machine guns up close if they can get the jump on you just because you're using the single shot weapon so you want to use the infantry division just to kind of like boost that and we are running four attachments on the M1A1 carbine so you need to run infantry so you can get that extra weapon attachment now moving on to the attachments for the M1A1 carbine the first attachment you guys want to use is the lens sight red dot like the iron sights are fine on this weapon I run red dot just because or the lens sight just because it actually helps with accuracy and it helps with headshots and with a single shot weapon like this it's three kills but it's or it's three shots to kill but it's only two shots to kill if you're aiming for the head so if you use lens sight you could do that or if you're using high caliber it's also two shots to the head to kill so that's all that also helps the only thing about high caliber in this game is like in black ops 3 if, if the weapon took three shots to kill to the head high caliber would allow it to be two shots to kill for the head but in this game if you get two body shots and a headshot it'll kill them if you're not using high caliber and you get two body shots and two and one headshot it still will kill them so high caliber really I don't see the benefit on a single shot weapon in this game maybe you guys can if you guys want to swap out the lens sight for high caliber feel free in all my best class setups and I say this in every video too but it's totally up to you what attachments and what infantry division and basic training you want to run on your weapons it's totally up to you you know secondaries and grenades and all that stuff it's totally up to you none of these things are set in stone this is what I find works best for me so it's all up to you guys to find what what works best for you and be sure to experiment feel free to do that this is my guidelines for the attachments for the weapon but if something else works for you go for that so the first attachment like I said was the lens sight or red dot sight whatever you guys want to call it and the next attachment is extended mags because you want to have more ammo with this thing because unlike the M1 Garen the M1A1 carbine doesn't have a trigger cap so you could fire this thing as fast as you want I'm surprised no uh, like different people don't have modded controllers and they're using this weapon with it you know hopefully I don't promote that in this video but anyway you want to use extended mag so you have more ammo in the clip especially if you're inaccurate with single shot weapons like if you're using a higher sensitivity I recommend going to a lower sensitivity if you're gonna use a single shot weapon like the M1A1 carbine or M1 Garen but extended mags is always good to have more ammo to kill your enemies with the next attachment you guys want to use is steady aim because you want better hip fire accuracy also steady aim seems to help with the recoil of weapons kind of like grip so it's not as important that you actually run grip on this weapon just use steady aim so you have a better hip fire accuracy in hardcore if you're going around the corner and you see an enemy you may not have time to aim down your sights so you just gotta spray with extended mags and steady aim and hopefully you get the kill these weapons like the M1 Garand and M1A1 carbine are absolutely super overpowered and hardcore even in core mode they're still a little bit overpowered but you can still get outgunned sort of easily if you're not careful and you're not 
using these single shot weapons in the right way these weapons are not meant to rush around with like smgs you should be sticking to a longer range and sort of playing defensively sort of camping that way you can use this weapon to its full potential the last attachment you guys want to use on the m1a1 carbine is quick draw because when you're aiming down sights you want to be able to do that faster so you can start popping off those shots because since you're using a single shot weapon you need to pull the trigger individually and that gets pretty hard especially when enemies are firing at you so you want to make sure that you can aim down your sights as quick as possible so use quick draw on the m1a1 carbine for the basic training you need to run primed because infantry gives you an additional attachment so you can use three attachments on a weapon and primed will allow you to use all four attachments so it's recommended that you run primed if you want to use steady aim extended mag red dot sight and quick draw on this gun i would just use primed primed is just good overall because you also get uh, less of a flinch if you're using primed which is kind of good it's basically like toughness from other call of duties for the secondary and grenades it's all up to you i run the machine pistol with extended mags but nowadays i'm actually running the po8 with either extended mags or steady aim just because i want to get extended mags on the regular po8 because that gun looks pretty cool with extended mags and it's also a little bit more powerful than the machine pistol i find the machine pistol just runs out of ammo you know quicker than I'd like and then of course for the grenade I run either for tactical I run either the British N69 which is basically like a stun grenade or if I use a lethal grenade I use the mk2 fragmentation just so I can kill enemies with a grenade because grenades are kind of overpowered in this game not gonna lie they could use a nerf but anyway thank you guys so much for tuning into today's best class setup here on the hazard channel thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a fantastic day like I said be sure to drop a like drop a comment and also subscribe to my channel if you guys are new if you want to enter my monthly channel sweepstakes where you can win a $25 Amazon gift card let me know down in the comments as well what other best class setups you'd like to see here on the channel I'm totally willing to bring more videos that you guys want to see so just let me know thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in the next video adios amigos